All right, yesterday we took a look at the different types of rectifiers, uh, diode rectifiers for a power supply. So we sort of went, sort of went this far, and uh, I talked about the currents making a loop and stuff. But um, most of the time you're going to regulate that voltage, and so you'll have some uh, arbitrary um, raw voltage, and then you regulate it down. You want to be at least two or three volts above the regulator, so. Um, you could be 7 volts and it's kind of marginal. 8 volts would be pretty good through here. If you get up around 10 volts and you have to drop a lot of uh, power in, the, in that voltage drop and you'll eat up a little bit of heat here, you might have to have a heat sink and stuff. So there's a whole bunch of uh, considerations on doing a circuit like this. But that's not what the, what the video is about. The video is about this idea that we have this circle of current. Mm -hmm. The current's going to get generated into a DC it's going to go through here. It's going to go then through a load. Maybe the load is out here. It's going to go through the load, and then it's going to go back around. So it's going to go this away, and this away, and this away, and this away. Okay. So let's take a look at that in in this circuit. Okay. So I have I have that circuit right right here, and uh, so I am going to. Uh, uh, turn off the voltage. You can watch it go up. So here's the voltage. Uh, one volt per division, so one, two, three, four, five. So we get five volts out and everything is just fine, right? Um, but right now I have no load. So the only load that's in the circuit is there's a little bit of current that goes this way. So there still is a circle. It's going this way, but there's nothing, nothing out here yet. So it's kind of kind of doing this, but let's put a load on it. All right. And so I'm going to add a load. And uh oh, uh oh. So uh, we're getting five volts out, but we get these little incursions every once in a while here, right? We go, oh, well, that's not good. It's 120 hertz of incursion, so I must have something to do with our, re with our uh, regulation. So um, let's take a look at the raw power going into the. Uh, into the circuit. I'll look at the bulk bulk capacitor and you can see here I'm going to have to lower the voltage down. Okay, so here's our raw bulk capacitor and it's a, a similar waveform as we saw yesterday, but it's dipping down the very very bottom here. Uh, let's see, I need to turn on some measurements here. So uh, measurement uh, Okay, let's turn on Vmax and Vmin. There we go. So these little negative things, this little, the lowest part of the waveform is down here at 5.76 volts, and that's not enough. And so that's kind of squeaking through the circuit, okay? It's still going up to 10 volts, but it's got, it's got too much droop. So if you have too much droop, that's this, this straight line here, that's too much droop, you need a bigger capacitor, okay? It means that this capacitor can't hold up that voltage between the 120 hertz ripples. It needs to have more capacitance here, okay? All right. So let me add more capacitance. I can do that easily. Okay, let me, oops, let me move my probe. Probe's in the way here for what I'm doing. Let me go over here. All right, so I'm going to add bigger capacitor right now. And there you go. It's looking much better. I can trigger on that. There we go. So, um, yeah, uh, we've just added more capacitor. And now we have this nice uh, ripple. And the low part of the ripple now is 8.5 volts. That's perfect. We want at least 8 volts going into the regulator. So now we have uh, uh, 8.5 volts here, and we should see something very clean on the output. Okay, so let's take a look at the output. Move my scope probe over, and yeah, well now we have a perfect uh, one, two, three, four, five volts. Okay, so that's that's really really good. Okay, so we talked a little bit about that, but that's not what the video is about. <laughs> the video is about we can go round and round and round. Remember, I said yesterday you get to call things what you want to call them. You could put the symbol here. And you could say, ah, it's ground, then everybody's really happy with this. Oh, uh, I understand that, okay? But remember I said, you, it's this loop. You've got this loop of current that's going round and round and round and round, okay? 
and it doesn't matter what you call what, okay? So I'm going to call that ground. I'm just gonna arbitrarily call it call that ground. Okay, it's just semantics, okay? And so we will go up here and I will put my ground on where it's not supposed to be, and I'll put my voltmeter, this thing, uh, where it's not supposed to be. And let me move my ground up so we can see things. And now I've got um, one, two, three, four, five. I've got negative five volts. I'm using a 7805 as a negative five volt regulator, okay? Now, arbitrarily, I get to call this down here minus five volts because I'm calling that ground, all right? But I'm using a 7805 to get you to get you negative five volts. So yes, indeed, you can use 7805s to give you negative five volts. There are some caveats. If you have, again, if you have a earth ground tied somewhere into the system, you have to worry about these things. Or if you have a secondary supply, so let's say you, you want plus five volts and minus five volts, and they both have this ground common to them, you can still do that, believe it or not. <laughs> you can still do that. Um, but it requires you to make sure that other things float. So that, uh, anyway, you could also, um, over here, you could um, put in another bridge diode on the same transformer. You could have a second winding, okay? And off of this, then you could have a, a capacitor and you could have a regulator, okay? And you could have something out here, okay? And you could bring this around and you could tie these together and you could call this plus five and you could call this minus five. And um, believe it or not, this works. So they are both 7805s and you're generating plus five volts and negative five volts. Now the way it's, po it's, able, it's able to get away with this is because out here, these are completely floating. There's no connection between these two things. If you wanted to use the same diode, regu uh, diode um, uh, rectifier, you'll see a lot of circuits that look like this, okay? There'll be I should have drawn this ahead of time. Um, there'll be these bridge rectifiers that go off to this thing over here. And then over here, you'll call this minus, and you'll call this plus. And then on the center tap, you'll call that ground. And now they have a common ground. And because these two things have common grounds, if you're going to take this and this, and you're going to regulate them like this, okay? And you want plus, say plus five here, and you want minus five here. Now these two grounds, oops, sorry, I'm off the page here. These two grounds are now gonna get you in trouble. And that's when you need to have a 7805 and a 7905. The 7905 is able to do this with negative voltages, and this is with positive voltages because they have this common ground. You can see here that this ground is tied to the output and this ground is tied to the output. It, it's, it's confusing, right? But you can use a 7805 and a 7805 to give you plus or minus five volts, strange way, or more commonly, you'll see it done this way. And that's why 7905s exist, okay? You can you could up here say, well, if the 7805 can do both, both plus and minus, why, why in the heck do you ever need a, a 7905? You need a 7905 in cases like this. So, um, yeah, you don't see this very common. I have seen it in circuits. I have seen it done in products. Um, but, yeah, it's not, it's not very common. So, anyway, there you go. Strange, strange little thing today. We made negative uh, 5 volts with a plus 5 volt regulator.